you say? He's done a better job on this spa than you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, no. So I put trim tape on. It's bloody good, isn't it? Yeah. Bodge repairs. For the sake of a few quid. Welcome back to Wingnuts, the home of micro maintenance and your exclusive channel to behind the scenes of one of the largest micro light and ultralight centres in the UK. We were hoping for a nice quiet week uh, after the crazy two weeks that we have had. However, not always the way it works out. Home of micro maintenance. Okay, so this week didn't start off uh, so well. I uh, received a phone call from our Shelly uh, with some amazing news. Mm. Shelly is self isolated. What a great, great start to the week. <clears throat> if you haven't had your vaccinations, don't be part of the problem. It's small businesses like us that suffer. <laughs> That's going to be a pain. So that set us right back, straight from the get-go. So uh, engines, obviously, Shelley being our head of spanners, meant that El Bumbley came to a grinding halt. We have three Rotex engineers based at Micro Maintenance, but obviously we're all working on other jobs. Uh, and as you can see, we're still waiting for Shelley to come back from self-isolation. Uh, the aircraft's still rigged up for car balancing. Nightmare. So yes, we're going to drop on this uh, next week and I'm going to get those cobs balanced but yes Shelly not being here bit of a nightmare anyway things progress and things move on uh, I'm just doing a few invoices uh, from the work last week and sorting out some more graphics because uh, the initial one the flag design that we did for the wheel spats um, and wing tips now wants an engine cover doing so I'm sorting that out so that, that can look all marvellous. So GT450 that popped into us, so Alan has been doing a uh, permit inspection on this aircraft. Whilst this aircraft's in, obviously we, I say obviously, whilst this aircraft's in, uh, Graham who owns this aircraft was so impressed with his graphics that he decided he was going to do the engine covers on there as well. So these are the engine covers. So the original um, flag design that we did on the spats wanted and wingtips wanted his engine cover doing in the same design so we've got those sorted out for him which look Yay. very nice indeed they're gonna look stunning can't wait for that on next week we're hoping to drop the wing on this this is going to be a, a full wing strip inspection uh, and get this aircraft um, stripped down so we can check all of its component parts uh, it's been great to see Daniel uh, warming his uh, Adam up, so he's, that's been tear on, uh, around the, uh, uh, the airfield as we're slowly warming that engine back up. Here we have our Ben who is... Wait, no. Working on a special. Working on a current special. I hope you enjoyed our specials by the way. It seems they're the kind of things. And we've had the boys in. Say hello to Mr. Alan Fern. Hello. <laughs> Mr. Alan Jackson over there. Hello. So these guys have been slaving away. It's been about time that we uh, started work on our custom workshop. So here we go. It's a little bit of a mess, but a work in progress. Like I say, we are a new business. Our uh, custom workshop is eventually coming online. So hopefully this week, uh, we've been getting the skirtings down, sorting the doors out. So I want to see a workbench in here. It means we can do some more magical stuff that's going on in there. What else has been going on? Okay, let's have a look. 
Uh, this area, we seem to clear this area and as soon as we clear it, we fill it again. But this is going to be our new uh, trike area. We're going to have trike lifters um, so we can get them working on areas. And again, this is going to be a specific uh, flex wing trike area so we can work on planes that are there. New one that's starting uh, some work on. This is going to be Brendan's fun uh, for next week. A uh, Quantum 582. So... Um, we did some work on this a while ago. Been waiting for a number of parts. It kind of got put as a back burner. Um, so yeah, it's time to get Bozo back in the air. So that'll make a number of people happy. So this one's there, ready to go. The main story of this week, uh, apart from Shelly uh, being forced to self-isolate, I was out on a course for a couple of days, so that put me out. The Don, he was away uh, on some annual leave, so we were, we were short-staffed anyway. Um, so yeah, not ideal uh, scenarios. Uh, what else is going on? We have this GTR, so this is going to be worked on next week. But yes, the main project that we were working on um, last week was this Flash 2 Alpha. This Flash 2 Alpha has been with us uh, for quite some time, uh, doing a fair amount of work on it. So here's Brendan <laughs> on the Flash 2 Alpha. Hello again. <laughs> So we were just recording, but the battery died. Oh, I see. <laughs> um, so Brenda's been doing a lot of engine work on this one that came in. It's getting picked up on Saturday. Hi Ben. The, uh, the exhaust manifold bolts are now in and torqued up. We're just uh, in the process of wiring up. You can see that side's wired up and uh, just doing this side. That'll stop any bolts, should they come out, which we don't expect them to, but uh, it will stop them going through the prop. Is it all ready to go, Brendan? A uh, bit some bobs to do. Um, got to finish putting the exhaust on. There's a key switch that needs to go in there as well. So uh, that's on order. Hopefully we'll be here today and we can get that uh, whacked in. Okay. And we just need to get the wing down then for Mark to have a check off um, tomorrow when he's back off his course. Okay, after a busy day fitting exhaust, sorting uh, skirts out and putting nice little uh, well, actually, I haven't put that clip on, but the, uh, the clips to the skirt on the other side's got a nice new, nice new clip. But what we've moved on to now is the key switch. Uh, this is an old key switch um, and not functioning correctly. So what we've got is a nice brand spanking new key switch, and I'm just working out which connections do the appropriate thing. Um, Brendan and the Don when he, he, uh, he got back in around his annual leave spent a lot of time finishing off all the airframe things that need to be done uh, got the engine um, all back up together again so there's some work that we need to do on the carbs well today we're doing this uh, two stroke carb strip and clean um, we're using the uh, carburetor cleaner we're cleaning all the jets we've, um, I've taken all the jets out and all the floats and we're just doing a basic re-clean and reassembly. We also then did its initial engine run-ups. Clear prop. Obviously, once you uh, uh, make it go bang, you've got the uh, uh, the fault finds and making sure that they work there. So we found that there was an issue with the choke cables. Oh, we'll we'll probably, me? yeah, we'll probably have to take those out. We might take the springs off to release the. We What's wanna, actually happened? We didn't want to be doing that. No. We didn't. We didn't. Mark, we didn't want to be doing that. Mark, what appears to have happened, mate? These pair of brokey. <laughs> so if you come look in here, this is a. Um, see that? Yeah. So this is the choke uh, assembly, and it's one cable to two, so a, 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 spl a split bridle. And the main choke control cable that goes in there, the swaged end has come off. And so we have the joys of trying to find out to get into it. So we can reattach it. So yes, that was fun on the trike. Wing-wise, 
Well, the wing presented me with a bit of a problem. So I was on uh, a course at the start of the week. Uh, and so this was my first uh, job uh, back in. So it was... Uh... So here's another bodge repair. Let's see if I can demonstrate what's going on here. It looks like at some point these were attached. You see there, and then they've added, tied in a new bit of string. This is great <laughs> because when you're pulling on one side, it levers against the keel, so you get it's a lot easier to pull. You are a lever in action. But if you can see down there, that knot. catches on the pulley and won't allow me to pull it on my own. It just won't pull through any further. Bodge repairs for the sake of a few quid. You'd only discover this nightmare when you were trying to re-rig it again. <laughs> Rather entertaining to uh, to get into these wings. I love old uh, uh, trikes, the older um, flex wing style, uh, micro lights, ultra lights, really are a world that I uh, live. If it wasn't for those cheaper micro lights, I wouldn't be here today. So I'm, I'm I'm always keen to look at some of the older stuff and get them and make sure they're back in the air. So we took this uh, wing out of its bag. Me and Alan worked on it. Um, doing its initial assessment and slowly with the, with these kind of wings you don't want to just rush rush into it you don't want to cause any damage and certainly ones like this one would have been kept in the bag for a number of time never even been opened you want to make sure that you're doing it right and not going to cause any issues so it was nice to get this open it was nice to inspect it and make sure that it was all right well, i say there was a, a service bulletin that needs to be addressed with still on this wing uh, but we had checked it for damage we then went in and give it a nice wing clean. The first thing we do, always fire it away so you don't get a jet. You see I'm using the fan blade. And really I'm just wetting down the entire wing. I'm not using any sort of force, just getting the entire material wet. You see already, it's running off. Just some light pressure. You don't need to be anywhere near close. Don't try and treat it like your driveway. All you're doing is you're just moving the water around. And that's it. You can see we've done the other side already. Ideally, when you're clearing, cleaning a wing, you don't want to let it to get dry. Uh, this is still touch damp, so we're happy to do our second treatment on this. The next thing we're going to do is get a very light uh, detergent. Uh, and we're going to do the, uh, the second clean. So for our second clean, so we've done the first pass where we've uh, basically rinsed off the wing, get rid of any surface dirt or dust there is, we go over and use this Starbright sail and canvas cleaner. Um, and the instructions are very self-explanatory. Starting at the top, just getting the entire thing just wetted out, spraying it along covering all the surface. Once you've got a good coat of that equally on both wings, take a brush or a sponge. We use a long reach brush. Just coat the brush in that there, just wet it up a little bit. And what we're gonna do is agitate that cleaner. You can see that's working again. And into the sail. Okay, so now that we've uh, got that brushed in on both sides, we can go back to our pressure washer. It's time to get a little bit closer. Obviously, you want to keep, you know, a good four, 400 odd mil. What's that in, in the real money? No idea. Uh, don't get too close to the skin with, a, with any pressure washer and really just work out the soap. Don't let it dry and just rinse it thoroughly. Rinse that solution thoroughly out. You 
see that dirt coming off there already. So that's both sides, top and bottom, cleaned with Starbright So Cleaner rinsed, uh, cleaned and then rinsed again. What we need to do now is let the thing dry. So I'm going to move it out of the direct sunlight uh, into our hanger so it can dry humidly rather than uh, using the beating sun. Uh, and whilst it does that, I think I'm going to go for a fly in a PB. opportunity to go and uh, get myself airborne but yeah it was nice then to get this aircraft back into its bag ready for the customer who's picking it up tomorrow hence the reason why it's at the front anyway what started off as being quite a uh, potentially a quiet week turned out to be in a yet another micro maintenance special where we're up to our eyeballs in uh, in all sorts of mither and work anyway I hope you enjoyed this week's walk around of everything that we've done this week and a bit of a glimpse of what we're going on uh, with next week. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It's amazing to see how many subscriptions that we currently have to our, our little channel. We love reading your comments. We are trying to incorporate those in our videos and I hope that we've, uh, we've ticked a few boxes already. But if you've got something that you wanna see, don't forget to uh, message in the comment sections below and we'll read it, hopefully we can get back to you, hopefully we can include it in one of them videos. But until next time guys, keep an eye out for our specials that we release at the weekend, and until then, I'll see you next week.